I know you guys have been waiting, so finally we are going to give it a try with Nerdy Nummies Cookbook by Rosanna Pensino, also an icon and the queen of food on YouTube. I would be that happy if I had that many subscribers. <laughs> Good morning guys, and for once I actually mean it because it's like 6 in the morning right now, but throughout the day every main meal is going to be a recipe by Nerdy Nummies, which is a cookbook by Rosanna Pansino. I thought we should start the day with a freaking bang, so this is breakfast. We're going to be making some cookies for breakfast. This cookbook is actually very interesting because it doesn't really tell you how to make the cookies on the page of the recipe, it just tells you how to decorate them. So if you want to learn how to make the dough, you actually have to go to the beginning of the book. I'm lazy, so I think this is actually pretty smart because you can just use pre-made mixes if you don't want to follow these recipes. Even though this is what we're making for breakfast, we actually have to start with the basic cookie recipe, which is this recipe right here. I'm actually having kind of a disaster today because my local grocery shop was closed, so I had to get everything from a petrol station or a gas station if you live in America. <laughs> we might have some ingredients missing today. I hope you're okay with that. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, baking soda, and and salt. I've already done that. For the next step, I'm gonna add the light brown sugar. Wow, that became solid really quickly. I love this already. <laughs> when you have more than one type of sugar, I'm like, yes. To this, I'm gonna add the butter. Mine is a little bit melted because I forgot to put it in the fridge, but... So the next step is to add the egg. So we're going to combine this a little bit. And last but not least, we're going to add the flour and the baking soda and the salt. I just realized we forgot to add the vanilla. It's probably fine to add it now. <laughs> Because I did my grocery shopping for this video at a petrol station, I actually couldn't find some parchment paper. Instead of parchment paper, I'm just gonna spray this and then add some flour on top. My mom used to do that and she's a baker, so I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on top. Hopefully the cookies are not gonna stick and this is gonna be as good as the parchment paper. I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do this is, but I know we're looking for like perfect circles, so I'm gonna use two spoons. This seems okay. Hey, that's not too bad, I think. I think we have to bake the cookies for about 7 to 10 minutes and I'm not entirely sure how big they're going to get so I'm actually baking 6 at a time only. This is kind of ridiculous because we still got so much dough left over. Alright guys, so I think the cookies are ready. I mean... <laughs> They're still very soft, so hopefully they're gonna flatten down a little bit. I managed to get the chocolate chips and I managed to get some icing sugar so we can make the white icing. The only thing I couldn't get for this was the black food coloring to make the glasses, so instead I'm actually gonna be using some dark chocolate to make the glasses. And if that wasn't enough, I also couldn't find the piping bag, so I'm just gonna be using a freezing bag. I've always said I'm like Rosanna Pensino, except trashy. And here we got the chocolate chips. So I'm gonna attempt to pour the melted chocolate into, oh, this is really hot, into this plastic Ziploc bag. What you'd normally do is with a little bit of parchment paper, you try to follow the lines of this on the last page of the book. Because I don't have any parchment paper either, we're gonna go freestyle. It's not the worst. Okay, that looks better, I think. <laughs> the key when you're bad at something is to try many times until you have a lot of options, so you pick the less bad one. I managed to get this one out, I think. Yep, it just happens to be the ugliest one, but that's fine. Oh god, this is stuck. No! How does Rosanna Pensino do this? Wait, I'll do the chocolate chips after. That was a mistake. All of this was a mistake. This one actually peeled off okay. So I'm just gonna move really quickly. Oh 
I'm gonna use the chocolate to make the eyes. It could be worse, that's for sure, so I'm gonna not touch it anymore. This looks so much sadder than I thought it would, and I have no expectations for myself, so that's saying a lot. I am so upset right now, guys, because these look cute and adorable and everything, and then on this side... <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is like I really did try here like I tried my best and this is what happened That one in the back looks like someone murdered Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story You look bad, but you taste delicious I've literally got chocolate all over me, but this is seriously like a good breakfast. These cookies and a glass of milk that I'm gonna have later, it's everything. Very chewy in the middle. They could have definitely been in the oven for a little bit longer, but I like them like that. I like to live life on the edge of getting food poisoning. We had a very sweet breakfast, so for lunch, obviously it's gonna be sweet because it's a baking book, but I wanted something that's not as sickly as like a cookie or a cake. I wanted something different. This is so freaking cool. These look insane. I had to try this so we're gonna do it for lunch I mean it doesn't really make that much sense but I want to show you this one really quickly but if you get this video guys to 15,000 likes I'm actually gonna give this a try can you just imagine the level of failure and disappointment that I'm gonna feel when I try to make this we don't really have the brand jello in the UK so I'm gonna use some of this jelly this is like solid but I think you had hot water to it and it becomes liquid and then you put it in the fridge and it solidifies again I can't believe I just explained to you how jello works we're going to boil some water I've never actually used these solid jellies before, so this is new. I bought four different flavors because we're making four different ones. Ooh, this is really cool. I'm only going to use half of it, maybe. Or oh, actually, maybe we don't even need that much because this is tough. This one's strawberry. I actually really like the smell of this one and I usually hate the smell of like artificial strawberry. This is like a slime. I should have definitely read the instructions. I'm gonna make this so concentrated. So now we add the water to every single one of them. Oh, is it kind of melting already? I think I might need more water. Oh, I should have probably broken into little pieces before. I think these are almost fully dissolved and this actually looks really cool. I like the color, so I think these might actually look really good. I think this is gonna take a lot longer because my tool is a lot smaller, but I wanna still give it a try because I want this to feel like we're doing a science experiment. This is probably gonna take a long time. This is not even gonna be colored because it's so little. Alright guys, so this is the fun part which is decorating and I'm gonna start with this one. I feel like they could look cool. I think I might cut these into even smaller pieces for the last one which is that one. I actually love this guys. I don't think I'm as bad at this as everything else. So like this makes me happy This will be a very difficult task to move this to the fridge But I'm gonna show you the final result in just a second It's been about an hour and on this side we've got the jellies that were made by Rosanna and on this side We've got the ones that we made and I'm actually pretty proud of this as usual We worked with what we got and I'm actually happy with this. This is weird I mean, it's me so it's probably not weird for you, but I kind of want to eat this without a fork or a spoon. No, it's not going anywhere. Okay. The gummy pieces become really tough. Maybe it's this specific type of candy that I use. I like it though. I used to hate jelly when I was a kid, but now I actually think it's kind of nice. I'm glad I'm eating other snacks in between in today's video though, because this would have been too much sugar. It's actually nighttime, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark right now, but for dinner, I thought the only thing that made sense to make is obviously a cake, more specifically, the zombie brain cake. 
This looks gross, but also super cool. For the cake, for the frosting, and the marshmallow fun, it says that we should follow the recipes in the beginning of the book. We're gonna be making the fake blood from scratch. We're also gonna be making the marshmallow fondant, and the only thing that we're not gonna be making from scratch is the cake and the icing, because if I made the cake and the frosting from scratch, this would be like a whole video on its own, so I'm not gonna do that. This only cost me one pound. I think it was reduced from Christmas, so. It's probably not the ideal size, and also not ideal that it's already frosted, but we're gonna give it our best, you know? I'm not gonna lie, the shape is kind of already perfect for a brain cake, but I'm gonna just trim the size a little bit. It kind of looks like a brain, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna frost the remaining bits of the cake. Not just a little bit on top. Does this still look like a brain? <laughs> Not entirely sure, but I think the blood will fix everything. That's what I keep telling myself. For the marshmallow fondant, this is actually a very interesting recipe because what you do is you put it in the microwave and you wait for the marshmallows to puff up until they get like really big. Look how cool this actually looks. Can you believe these are the same marshmallows? So now we have to add the icing sugar. This is the most satisfying sound I've ever heard in my whole life. It's getting a little tougher, but I think it needs a lot more icing sugar. Major credit to Rosanna Pansino if she actually does all these things on like a daily basis, because this is a lot of work. All this is doing is sticking to my hands. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go wash my hands. I can't. I'm not gonna lie, this is still sticky, but I give up. <laughs> this is too much work. Oh my god. At this point, I just want to be done with this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, this is exhausting. This is the last piece that I own, so it better freaking count. It's not even mediocre, it's just like something else. If you want to unsubscribe from my channel at this point, I completely agree and I'm gonna even encourage you. So I'm gonna start with the liquid glucose. I'm just gonna add a little bit at first because I think this is gonna make it easier. Now we're gonna add a lot of the red food coloring. And last but not least, a little bit of the cocoa powder. I'm gonna mix it up. Ooh, that is very sticky. I think that kind of does look like blood. It's so shiny, it's really cool. I'm gonna use a brush because I have a feeling they have to cover up some details a little more than others. Here, for example, needs to be covered up desperately. Ooh, this, <laughs> this looks very realistic. It's kind of grossing me out. Do you know what? I actually don't think we did that much of a bad job with the cake. Should we just add a whole lot on top? So on this side we've got the picture that you've already seen, which is Rosanna Pancino's zombie cake that looks amazing. And on this side we've got my very own brain cake. Mine looks messier, mine looks like a cheap when you order online versus when it arrives. But I'm proud of it, you know, because I thought it was gonna look much worse. So I'm happy if it's your birthday and you really love zombies or if it's Halloween and you really love Halloween, that's the only scenario that I could imagine anyone actually attempting to make this. So for this one, I can't really be like, oh, this is like the best cake ever or like this is not very good because I literally didn't make the actual cake, which is the part that matters. I just bought it already made. So there's nothing really to taste on this one. Obviously, it's gonna be amazing. Take a a little bit from the back because I want to save this to take a picture for the thumbnail after. The brain is kind of falling apart. <laughs> it does look really cool to cut into it and then it's like red on the inside. That looks freaking amazing.
The marshmallow fondant tastes better than normal fondant. The glucose syrup, the freaking marshmallow fondant, the frosting, there's so much sugar that I actually can't even taste the cake. If I have like a tiny slice of this with a little bit of tea on the side, I think that would be perfect. Like, cause this is very sweet, it kind of goes with the tea. Very sweet, definitely cool to make for like a special occasion, but do watch out, <laughs> this is a lot of work. And finally, Rosanna Pansino, I have a new appreciation for you. I already did, but even more now, because this is, this is not easy. This is not easy at all. And that was it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit ambitious today, but I hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. If you didn't like it, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. There's no need to stay here and roast me because I've got a lot of that as it is. It's free to subscribe to my channel, so if you're interested, there's a little subscribe button down below and a little bell, so if you tap that bell, every time I put up a new food video, you'll actually receive a notification on your phone. Most of the times, I think. Yep, that's it. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.